everybody agree no? That's what I'm seeing with all of you guys. I don't feel any Yeah. No, I'm watching and I'm like, it wasn't a bad turn, but nothing, would you say anything about that entrance was good? No, it's, it, like I said, it wasn't bad, it's just, did you expect either of them to be at, at the top? No. Of the, the races? From just looking at that. Doesn't matter how good the turn is because what? The entrance is just too slow. I know you have, I know you have super cross suspension and I, and I wasn't calling you guys out by any means because what I just showed yeah, them but is I'm shutting off like way back. Yeah, I showed them everybody is doing it. And all I asked them were they impressed by anything you guys are doing in the entrance? No. Because it's not. It's there's nothing like, yeah, you're sending it in there. Same with you, same with you, 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 you. I'm not impressed with anybody. Right? I'm not like, yeah, you're ripping it. No, it's just kind of, yeah, okay, you're coming into that turn. Every single one of you know you're making that turn easy. You know, other than maybe you try to like jump at the last minute, but from 30 feet before it, before you try to jump, I think you try to jump in the turn as well. But you're going the same feet from, you know, five feet after the downside, then wait, wait, wait. And then you like increase some speed right here to try to double into the turn. But what about all of that, right? It would be easy for, if I was behind you or a, a really aggressive rider was behind you, to make that pass, to get up the inside of you, knock you out of the way in, in, in this turn, right? So let's increase the entrance speed. If you miss a turn, you miss a turn, right? Oh well, let's see what we can get into this turn and then we'll work on the turn because it doesn't matter if we fix the turn if our entrance is slow, right? We've got to get to that turn first, all right? Let's go. because it is rougher, but you need a little bit, right? It's gonna help you slow down a little, so it's just gonna help your entrance speed. You actually got through the turn a few times really good, but if we can still increase that, that entrance, which everybody did, would you say? Yeah, everybody came in, came in here quicker. The Sage, the first thing when you came in, like first time you came in a little faster than you were comfortable with, and right there you, yeah, you still made the turn, but then you actually changed it so good. Like started committing so good. It's a few of the times you kind of got kicked a little funny out of this and it funneled you to that inside. And it's just, hey, I, uh, you were trying. I thought, yeah. So if you can get to that inside, but you, you sometimes had to slow down a little bit too much. Um, that's where you, if you can carry that momentum. Landon, Noah, you started coming in here a lot quicker. Uh, Burgess, you started coming in quicker. Bad thing you guys are doing when you come in, you try to jump in. First thing you're doing is clutch in, rear brake locked on, right? So that bike kind of gets a little washy and then it goes from locked up to off. And then it, so it just kind of is, there's no consistency to how the bike is gonna work. You know, so where like Sage, you're coming in, you're landing, you're landing over this kind of on the rear brake, but no clutch in. So it's just kind of a little smoother and that, that bike works a little bit better. When that rear brake is completely locked up, Especially in these conditions, I know it looks a little tacky, but does it feel slick when you're riding? Yeah. So that first initial 
slide and then it locks up slide but then you completely get off of it and then it does this and a lot of times it makes it harder to connect with that turn not saying you still didn't have some good turns because you both did it's just as this gets rougher and in, in slick conditions like this the bike is going to react so much more you just don't get that feel that you're looking for kind of Nico, a lot of you, it's like, okay, there's not much room for error, right? Because you're coming in a lot, a lot faster. You get kicked a little funny now here, Nico, and it's like, whoa, I'm not going to make this turn. Where earlier, it's like, you guys are all making this turn. No matter what, you got to push, you know, don't be afraid to make a mistake. Challenge yourself a little bit. And then, yeah, what you do with the bike off of this single, if you are doubling in, you really have to have that control with your lower body. So it's straight and it funnels into that turn, you know? consistent and, and how you want it sometimes is it going to catch you off guard and kick a little funny of course right that's gonna happen and then when you learn to just commit and you did it a few times you know and a lot of you did when you got just commit to that turn even you that that inside that last one you still make it right instead of bailing out of it and you learn the more you commit and you're just not even gonna have to think about it because right now sometimes you have to uh am i gonna commit am i not right once you have that second of doubt you're still moving forward, right? And then you're to the turn or you're past the turn, right? Instead of just, nope, I'm going to the turn. Nope, I'm going to the turn. You know, that's what you, you always have to ha have that commitment and you'll make it more times than not. Still, a little bit on that clutch, right? Don't be afraid. That last one you were on that clutch and locked it up when you went to the inside. Yeah. But other than that, it was so much better. And, yeah. and your consistency to how your guys' bike worked when you got off the clutch was, was way better. Could you feel that, Noah? Or no? I don't think I got off of it. You well, you weren't locking it up. So. I think it was mainly just because I was like, I don't know, figured out like before it, like coming into that was better, like more in control. Yeah. So then I was more comfortable getting in. So visually when you were landing, I was more watching your rear wheel to see and knowing if that rear wheel stopped instantly when you, when you landed, I knew your clutch was in, right? So, because your bike wasn't stalling. Yeah. You know, where there you, what you, if you had the clutch in still, you weren't aggressive enough to lock the rear brake up. So, no matter what, is this bike still going to work better? Yeah, right. Especially with now, with it being slick. So, how could if you, how come you didn't get off the clutch? Just something you know, just used to, nervous, right? And that's just learning the motorcycle, right? That that's the biggest thing is, don't be afraid of the mistakes because you, the turn looked good, got way better. All, for, for all of you guys, right? Even when you started, just you have to learn that bike and be be okay with making a mistake, be okay with stalling, be okay with missing the turn, and then how can I build on that? Did I really need to miss the turn or should I have committed, right? Or did, did do I need my clutch in this situation or is the bike gonna work better when I don't have it? Well, but maybe I can't do it yet because I'm not comfortable with how aggressive I can be with that, that rear brake. The only way to get comfortable with those things is make the mistakes along the way. You know, don't wait till you get into an outdoor national and you're coming down, you know, those big hills and you have the clutch in and locking the rear brake up and then you're like, hey man, my bike's all over the place. Well, yeah, <laughs> no crap. You know, well, then we're, then we're going to go back to the basics then, you know, when you're, you're pro. You know, all those little things, you know, don't seem like a big deal until they become a big deal and you get into situations that are, you've never seen before, like an outdoor national, you know, so you got to start picking up on those weaknesses that you have you know even you you want to ride some outdoors so little things like that you come down a hill pull that clutch in that 450 is going to want to go grab some speed and then if you lock up the rear wheel where it, it's going to be everywhere right and be like my suspension's trash you know well or it's how you're braking right it's not going to help your your suspension work because it's just lock compress rebound you know instead of just tracking to to the ground and keeping it stable and straight so little things like that. Dakota, did you feel like you could get in that inside a little bit better with yeah. a little more speed? Yeah, right? You just had to commit to it, right? That's the biggest thing. You, at first, you didn't think you could have, have that much speed, but you did it, right? So, 
still, I think you got a little bit more Blake coming in there. Did you feel like right there ever it was like way out of your comfort zone? No. Yeah, right, and that's why it's, visually I see almost too comfortable getting in there still, that I want to see it sometimes like, oh, whoa, that was fast, right? So that that's what I'm looking for at times, and then finding that balance of close to almost too much, but and then you, you get that and you start getting it more consistently, and that's how you build that speed, especially in a section. All right, let's go. A couple more runs. Mm -hmm.